Hey guys, welcome to this Plasticity 3D product design tutorial. We will recreate this hairdryer design. Like, uh, yeah, you can download this image uh, first link in the description as a reference and all that stuff. Yeah, so it's pretty close. And also in the next video, we will render it in Octane and Cinema 4D and we will get this result. Also again, pretty close. So let's start in this video by modeling it and then you can ch check out the next video. Awesome, so let's start. We won't use an image plane because yeah, it's like not a front image. Um, but yeah, we will try to recreate like the um, proportion as exactly as possible. But yeah, it's pretty simple. So let's start by going into the front view and create first of all. So first of all, we will create the handle, then this back part and then this front part. And we will just create like a circle and shift D to duplicate and we will just bring it down somewhere around here and now we need a, a three-point rectangle and we can snap it to those quarters here and also here so it's tangent and now let's just trim with T if here are the shortcuts like if I'm using them so let's just with T uh, cut all of those pieces out and now select everything press J and Now what we can do is let's just decide um, Let me go to this view Let's us uh, decide how thick we want to have this thing and Yeah, I think that should be fine But now you see we have like here rounding right you see it like on the lighting So yeah, that's not something we have here but yeah, we can do it pretty simple. So I will just select on the other side as well, like the edges and press shift D to duplicate it, press J. And now we can delete like this main body here because now we will create a curve and then just sweep it around. So I go to the top view. So I know the profile and I will first take like a normal line. A straight line and now press alt 1 to give it like an extra subdivision point and this point we will just drag a little bit outwards so yeah something like that and that should be fine and now we can just take like this edge here and uh, sweep it or shift P around this thing here and you see I think this is already pretty close yeah, maybe I want it a little, little bit more. So again, I press one, so I see the point and just drag it a little bit more outwards, just a tiny bit. And yeah, it's again tutorial, so I don't do it exactly, but yeah. So sweep again around, right click, perfect. And we don't need this curve anymore and we don't need, yeah, this curves here anymore. But what we need is, or we need this curve here. So this curve is selected. Or no, we can just hide it and select this whole body and here patch holes. So now we have like a nice uh, solid body. So now you see, or it's very hard to see, but I guess it because yeah, like you see like here, this thing, it goes like a little bit inside, you know? So yeah, what I found <laughs> is just like a funny workaround. We can just duplicate this body, shift D and rotate it. 90 degrees cont uh, control to snap it and now we, we can with, the G, with a G bring it outwards but yeah you see everything is very smooth so let's give like those two edges like a nice juicy fillet so yeah something something like that and also I don't so we will boolean it out but I don't want to go like so deep so I just select it press S and scale it on like this axis here or let's just make this body like maybe a little bit like that so yeah that's so now again we select this body and this body press Q and now we will see how it will affect it so yeah we have like this edge here okay but for now it's fine right click and now we have to create like here you see it better like here like this like cut so it's like two separate parts let's do that and for that we will just select with shift click all of those yeah edges and we will just use it as a cutting 
tool. So let's select everything and press Shift D to duplicate it and bring it outwards. And just now press C and here this body and you see it will cut perfectly. So just right click. So yeah, when it's not working, you can also do just different. So we can't cut this body. I don't know why, but we can just use that curve and extrude it as a surface. So press E and now we can just extrude it like that. You see, and then we have like the surface here. And now you can select this main body, shift click this other uh, face and just press Q and it will be a difference boolean and now it should work. So yes, so now we have like this body in the middle and this body in the outside. And now already let's give like some fillets because we are mostly done with this part. So just yeah, go to this part here and also select the inner piece and just give it like, okay, no, it's, so this and just give it like a very sharp fillet. And I press shift H. So I see this edge here better and I will do the same for here. Very sharp fillet. Alt H. So I bring like, I don't, we don't need those curves. So I just delete them. And also like for this body, just shift H. And I will also give like a very small fillet. So Alt H to bring everything back and let's just check how that looks. And yeah, it's fine. Mostly, most important is that it's separated for like the rendering. And now let's create like this PC on the top. So we go to the front view and yeah, I don't know how it's attached, but yeah, it looks like very simple. So we will just create like here, press Alt Z so you see through. Just, um, yeah, approximately like the size, how it should be. And now you can just select this face and select it here and with G, uh, just snap it here to the, to the edge. So it's exactly like here at the edge. Select the face and drag it outwards and just, yeah, we have to eyeball it. So maybe, yeah, maybe it's a little bit thicker. I don't know, but yeah, we will anyways cut it a little bit. So I delete this curve here. And now you see like we have like this, like indentation or I don't know, like it's going like inwards. So we can, yeah, very easy. We can just create a sphere and drag it, but just create a uh, press B. So it's creating like a new body. It can be any size and press G and bring it outwards. And yeah, maybe we can with SS maybe it even bigger. So yeah, we see like how deep it will go inside, but maybe even bigger SS because I don't want, I want it a little bit more flat, you know, so something like that. So now if we select this body and this body and just press Q, we see exactly what's happening. So perfect. This is exactly what we need and yeah maybe let's make it a little bit smaller so press this and this press q and just bring it in and right click and now you see yeah it's hard to see but it's going like a little bit inside so what we need and let's give those both edges like a nice sharp fillet so something like that right click and now let's create like those, uh, yeah, details in the inside. So we just go to the front view and press Alt Z. So we see everything and we will just create like here a corner rectangle and just like a center rectangle doesn't matter so much. So yeah, approximately like maybe this size here, right click, press B to give it like also like a little bevel and press G. Oh, and of course we have to make a hole because yeah, it's like uh, sucking uh, the air and all that stuff. So we will just go front view and go here to the center. And I think like this hole will be the same size as this. So we can just snap it here and drag it outwards a little bit. Right click, press C. So we can cut the main body and now we can delete like those two pieces here. And we can give it like a very sharp fillet here. And yeah, so again, we go to the front view. We have like our detail here and we see 
let's check it out how it looks here. Oh, okay, it's it's not going outside, I thought it. But okay, perfect. So yeah, it will be like in the inside. So let's just bring this rectangle. I think maybe it's a little bit smaller and a little bit thinner. So something like that. And let's just bring it, yeah, almost to the edge. And how many do we have? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think 16 or 20. So let's just check it out. So this rectangle is selected, radial array here to the middle. And we need like 16, it should be. Oh no, first, sorry, we have to uh, extrude it a little bit because yeah, that will be easier. So let's just bring it a little bit here to our position where it should be approximately. So yeah, somewhere, exactly somewhere here. So it's going like a little bit outwards. So right click, press three to the face and just drag it like that. You won't see the inside. So yeah, it's not so important to where it goes, but something like that. And now we can delete the curve and maybe just bring it a little bit more here. And now again, let's go to the front view, radial array and just bring it, yeah, 16 times should be fine. Right click and that looks fine. And now let's bring like this thing here on the top. So very easy front view. We create a circle, Alt Z, so we see where it goes and we see it's just a little bit, yeah, bigger than the inner circle. And now G and just control click and snap it here to one of this center. So it's like perfectly aligned. And just now we can extrude it a little bit. So select the face and extrude it. And yeah, I will deselect this edge here. And now what I will just do, yeah, I will just delete this face. So I select the face and press shift X. And now I select only this edge, press shift D to duplicate, shift D again, because you will see why we will scale it with SS, right click. And now with G, bring it a little bit inwards. Perfect. So now what we can do is first of all, we have this edge here and we can close it with patch holes, right click. And again, we select this edge and this edge and press L. Oh, and we have to only select like this edge here and shift D. So exactly, we have an extra edge so we can select it. So don't select here the curve. Like I just uh, selected a few times, uh, uh, I mean the sh sheet, don't select the sheet. You need the extra curve. So now if we select those both curves here, we can press L and we can loft it. So now if we select those two curves and delete them and press Alt X, you see what we have here. But we have to select this sheet, this sheet and this sheet and press J. So now everything is one solid and we have like this piece here with this, yeah, with this angle thing. And now we can again just give it like a nice fillet. And also if we check out here, it's again, we have like this, um, yeah, like this distance here. So let's select again this edge, shift D, bring it a little bit outwards and just press C and cut this body here. So we have like two separate bodies and now just with edge mode again, we just give both, um, Bodies a very, very small, tiny fillet. So yeah, something like that. And yeah, that should be also it for that. So let's create like this, basically like the same uh, procedure. So we just go here to the uh, back view, press Alt uh, Z and let's create it a little bit thicker than like our middle piece here. And again, press G, drag it a little bit and just snap it here to one of those edges. So it's exactly aligned and just see like here the difference. We need then also again, like one middle cut there, but yeah, we can just select this curve and just drag it outwards a little bit. Let's see like the proportions. So I think it's a little bit too thick, but 
So I will just select the face and just make it a little bit thinner. Select the curve, I will delete it. But yeah, that's, that's fine for now. So yeah, I will select this curve here and press O or press Shift D and SS to scale it a little bit down. And now I will use it C and cut like this main body. Now I can delete it. So we just have like here, like one inner side and one outside. So we can assign different materials. And again, just yeah, give everything like a few nice fillets. So yeah, select all of those edges and give it a nice fillet. Yeah. And also, yeah, we won't do like the front side because yeah, we don't need it for the render. But yeah, we just give it like here, a nice little fillet. And yeah, so for this, it's fine. So here also we can do the button and then also like this bottom piece here. So let's start with the button. We just go here to the front view, very simple. And we will just create, um, if you can't snap here to the middle, just go here to the, like to the center here of the grid and press shift. Then you have like here this construction line or something like that. And yeah, so with control click, something like that, press C. Oh no, um, let's drag it a little bit out. So select it, press C and cut like this body. And now select just all of those faces and bring them in a little bit. And now select like this body and this QQ. So we bring everything together and give it a nice uh, chamfer. And now we can select all of those edges here in the inside. Shift D to duplicate it and separate it. And now we have to press S and just scale it in that uh, Y direction. And also here bring it to zero so it's just straight. So now we can just with three, with three, just extrude it a little bit. Yeah, so again, we will, I will give you like a little chamfer and here everywhere just like some fillets because fillets look always very good at renderings. Perfect. So now let's create like this bottom part. So yeah, we will just here create like a circle on the bottom and use the circle to cut and we can delete the circle and just select like this face and just bring it inwards a little bit. And now again, select both things QQ. And yeah, so now we will select this curve here, Shift D. And again, you see it has a curve. So we need to bring it like here to zero. So make that a value zero. And yeah, I will just go to any view, press G to yeah, bring it somewhere here. And also again, Shift D. So I bring it and make it here smaller. And again, Shift D and bring it again and make it even smaller. So something like that. Maybe that even also even a little bit smaller. And now we can loft that. So let's select this curve here and this curve, press L. And this, so this curve and this curve, right click L. So L right click and then those two is here. And maybe we can just make it here, this one a little bit longer. So again, select those two, press L, right click. And now uh, let's delete like those curves here. And here now with object mode, select those two surfaces or sheets, press J so they are connected. And now here patch holes, so we have a solid body. And now with two, we can just give it here like a very thick uh, fillet. And yeah, also here. And yeah, now it's just uh, here, select those edges here, press D, press S to make it just a little bit smaller and with three, so three and select the face, we can then create like this cable. But yeah, it's not ideal, but yeah, it, it will work fine. And now we can also select this body and this body and combine it because it's like one material. And yeah, maybe just give here also like a nice fillet. So perfect. I think uh, that's it. Let's have a look. So awesome. If you liked it, check out my iPhone product design course. 
where we will create like an absolute perfect iPhone 14 Pro uh, model in more than three hours. So you will learn a lot and also check out then the next videos where we will yeah import it like export it and import it into Cinema 4D and render that image here in Octane and Cinema 4D. So see you, bye.